Mello. This is my little video of my Raspberry Pi. As you can see, this is the Pi here. Got my Ethernet, USB keyboard, wireless mouse, built into one. Memory card is in there. And now we'll give it some power. So it's powering up now. And what you'll see is OpenELEC for the Raspberry Pi opened up. It's just booting into the OS now. Slowly. Slowly. And here we are. So, I'm at the XBMC main screen here. And essentially all I'm going to do is I've already added a uh, file library. Uh, so I'm just going to go directly to that. to watch. So you people were mainly concerned about the HD files. Um, I download most of my TV in 720p and specific shows in, in 1080. Uh, the Raspberry Pi states it can play 1080p without any issue MKV files, which was its main reason why I bought it. Uh, so here, as you can see, this is a 3.97 gigabyte 1080p MKV file. I'm going to launch it to play. One thing to keep in mind is the XBMC dashboard will only output at 720p, but your videos will work in 1080. So I'll kick this first file off and you'll see how it goes. I see it's working down there in the bottom right corner. It's just uh, preparing the video uh, for, for display. Uh, because it is a large file and it is a 1080p file, uh, it does take a little bit more time to get ready to play. But, you know, 30 seconds is pretty reasonable if you ask me. Now, obviously I'm using my iPhone to record this, so it's not really showing you the caliber of quality. But uh, this is the great David Attenborough, my favorite TV announcer. So, as you can see, it's working great. So let's pause this. And the great thing about XBMC is it tells you all the details. So, you know, this does support DTS audio. It's a 1080 file. Uh, but I have a 2.1 surround system here, so I have to kind of downscale it. So that was a 1080p file. Let's move over to a 720p, but obviously, as you know, it's going to work just as fine. So let's launch an episode of Castle here, which is 720p x264 MKV file. So there you go, it's working in the bottom right corner there, and as you can see, the 720p files definitely load up a lot smoother and a lot faster. Um, so let's stop this one, because I've already seen it. And if you've never used XBMC before, this is really the best media streamer I've, I've stumbled upon. I unfortunately don't have my, my movies set up in here, so I can't show you some of that, but maybe I'll do that in another video, show you kind of how everything works here. And anyways, enjoy!